what is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends and yeah we've got some more update news 8.2 which will be the next update we just got 8.0 this week the hero adjustments uh they heard a lot of what people said and i actually just saw somebody say something about maya in the recent video i did about the alucard skin so yeah just jumping into it some hero adjustments maya's number one on the chopping block but she's getting a buff base attributes initial attack was raised from 114 to 117 and the attack growth was raised from 10.15 to 11. base movement speed is also raised from 235 to 240 uh, turbo they changed from each time a basic attack hits a target the hero's attack speed will increase by four percent lasting three seconds and stacking up to ten times to each time a basic attack hits a target the hero's attack speed will increase five percent lasting four seconds and stacking up to eight times so it's more of a percentage but less stacking um not sure what the cause of that was but it is a it's a little buff uh you get 40 a little bit quicker i guess instead of the uh 10 time stack next up we have akai the base armor of him was raised from 21 to 24. armor growth raised from 3.3 to 3.6 and guardian base damage changed from 100 at all levels to 120 140 160 180 200 and 220. so that is definitely a huge increase for akai Alice is up as well. Blood Ode, the base damage was raised from 140, 180 to 220 to 260, 190, and 220. So uh, Alice is getting a bit of a buff in the uh, early to mid game on Blood Ode. The attack power buff was also raised from 0.06 to 0.7. So she's getting a little bit of a buff again. So we haven't really seen Alice a whole lot. So I'm glad they're actually. Uh, trying to change up some of these characters maya akai alice a lot of these you really don't see in ranked anymore uh also minotaur they increased rage acclimation speed they fixed a bug forcing the ultimate to choose a target before casting that's pretty nice um minotaur hasn't really been seen much since the nerf on the rage uh it takes so long to get his rage up He's not as viable as he used to be in team fights, so you don't really see him very often. I mean, he's a very good supporting tank. Don't get me wrong. I love playing Minotaur, but when they nerfed that, that really pretty much took away his utility. He couldn't engage in team fights as often as you needed to. And also another tank, Tigreal, Sacred Hammer, they improved the appearance when it collides and it's unable to move. Now it will completely cast the motion good uh tigreal i've also noticed like if you're really close to walls and you use that dash it'll just dash you straight into the wall it's kind of annoying but oh well uh hopefully they'll do something with that way you can actually kind of slide against walls and not just stop when you touch them uh, next we have bomb and soul lock they improve the appearance when it collides and it's unable to move in the course of teleporting now it will completely cast the motion they're updating a lot of stuff here. Nice. Bruno, Flying Tackle. They approved the parents when it collides and is unable to move in the course of teleporting. Now it will completely cast the motion. So the same as the Bauman and the Tigreal on that one. Uh, Jun Zhao, Spear Strike. Locked in targets will now glow brightly for a short time so that it's easier to tell which unit has been targeted by the ability. Uh, so the Spear Strike, you will, I guess, glow and radiate when he hits you with it. Uh, that'll let you know that you are the marked target from Yun Zhao. Karina, they improved the passive special effect. Also on Saber, they improved the ability descriptions and as well on Ruby. Now Johnson, they improved controls feeling after he shapeshifts. Impacts from the car form on defense turrets will cause damage now. Uh, so yeah, Johnson can use his ultimate to dive towers and hit them and actually do damage that's that's really cool um uh, just if we can can we have johnson back i mean he's he's been banned from rank i haven't seen him in a couple of days where would he go anyway kagura they fixed a bug preventing yin yang umbrella from casting sometimes uh, i'm sure that had to be quite annoying 
and they did also change some equipment just a little bit on the equipment what they changed was the deadly blade the passive effect trigger change from basic attacks to basic attacks plus abilities so deadly blade can be activated a bit more often i'm assuming now uh, Azure Blade, Calamity Scythe, Endless Battle, and Thunderbelts, unique passive cooldowns, all changed to 1.5 seconds. Now, if I'm correct, those were three seconds to begin with. Uh, so they cut that in half. If I'm wrong on that, somebody please correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure majority of those were three seconds because Thunderbelt was one of the most recent ones, and I remember that kind of fluently in my head. Uh, Bloodlust Axe, Winter Trucian, and Disaster Trucian. The cooldown reduction provided by these pieces are no longer unique attributes. Whoa. Hold on. So this means the cooldown effect on these are stackable now? I know it only goes up to 40%, but that could be pretty big for mages to get that full cooldown early on one or two items. Uh, that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, they also did some adjustments on the battleground target lock mode in lock mode your target won't be lost anymore when an ability is cast at yourself after enabling hero lock mode tapping a little avatar on the very edge will lock onto the target like normal uh, so they might have changed the hero lock mode up a little bit uh, from what I'm reading here jungle monsters they added visual effects for jungle monster movement to limit the help players to see how far monsters can roam um that's that might be helpful because if they do leash or do path back it's quite annoying and you can waste a lot of time going back and having to retake all that hp from them uh, they also fix a problem with monster hp not refreshing on time spawn times for all monsters is pushed back one second and hp growth and attack growth increase 45 percent to 55 percent Base HP has been increased by 5 to 10% and monster magic resistance has been removed. So mages, there you go. You can actually might be able to kill something in jungle a little bit earlier. Uh, improve the way monsters are displayed on the minimap. Monsters respawns will now appear more clearly. That's really nice. Uh, minions adjustments. Minion marching speed will now increase as the match goes on with a max speed limit. In 5v5 maps, the speed starts to increase at 10 minutes. In brawl maps, it will increase at 5 minutes. So yeah, that's that's kind of expected to brawl for brawl to be a lot faster than the regular maps. But after 10 minutes, minions are going to start getting faster. Uh, that's interesting. That's going to increase the speed of the game a little bit, possibly. Uh, they also increase the cannon attack growth 10%. Minions buff by Lord will increase attack speed by 10%. That's really cool. Improved the special effect for the battle spell arrival to make it more apparent. They added cooldown reduction, physical lifesteal, and spell vamp attributes displays to character attribute panels. Uh, they improved the experience when using Flicker to pass through obstacles, adding an extra compensation for the obstacle so that Flicker distance isn't longer than it should supposed to be. Um, I've been having trouble just getting Flicker to work pretty much uh, most of the time anyway. I mean, sometimes it works correctly, sometimes it just flickers you in the opposite direction. It's kind of weird, uh, but hopefully that might fix the problem that was had with it. HP gain from lifesteal and spell vamp will now have a floating text display. This display can be toggled on and off in the settings under damage display. So that's pretty cool. They have basically separated the text display and the, well, the damage display and the health display from lifesteal and spell vamp. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. We're going to wrap it up here. I don't want it to get too long. We've also got some other stuff to talk about that the devs have basically told us um, and I'm going to talk about that in the next video so stay tuned for that make sure you do check up and are subscribed you are you do have your notifications on uh, we also are over on Twitter make sure to check us out on Twitter and also on Facebook we update everything there so make sure you subscribe if you're not if you don't need notifications on you'll have it on Twitter or on Facebook but like I said, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.